So as you can see, we're on the backwaters of the Mississippi. This is a Mississippi spillway. Heard of walleyes, saugers, and fish being caught back here, but. So this time out, we were fishing a spillway of the Mississippi River backwater area, and we were going for yellow perch. Now, when you watch the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. There is literally only this circle where I got marked, the orange circle. And I'll mark where most of them fish were sitting because that's where the deeper, the deepest water was. This whole little river here, it ain't a river anymore. You'll see what I mean when you watch the video. I'll talk about it in the video. Now, there was a lot and a lot and a lot of small fish and only so few big ones, but we did catch the big ones too. All right, enjoy the video. All right, so as you can see, we're on the backwater of the Mississippi. This is a Mississippi spillway. Heard of walleyes, saugers, and fish being caught back here, but in the past years, but right now, as you can see, it's so, we haven't been getting the water we needed for the last year here, so everything's down. Look, I mean, and there's the bottom of this little river. Here's a perch, first little perchy. Right there he is, do you see him? There he goes. All right, let's see if we can find anything else that's stuck in here. Well, I think we're figuring out how to catch him. We're seeing them all in like a big bunch of them, a bunch of smaller ones and once in a while a nicer one. That first one we got was pretty nice. Change it up, a jig head with a warm and just jigging it back. Small little perch. So yeah, another small little perch. So yeah, we're gonna be fighting through a lot of small ones it seems like today. All right, another little dude on a little green jig with Nightcrawler. That's it. A lot of small ones. All right, pulled a tiny bit of drag. We might have a better perch or something else. What have we got? It's a big, it's a big yellow perch. Oh man, that's a giant. Look at that giant. Oh, 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 oh. yes sir. That is a giant yellow perch. Let's go. That's what we're looking for. Look at that. Look at that beast. Wow, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that female. I'm gonna measure her and put her back. That's a nice female. You, you never know, even in a little place like this where it's all dried up, giant ones could be laying. That's a big female ready to lay some eggs. So he, she's going back, but I gotta get a measurement. All right, guys, girls, y'all. Uh, let's see where can I put her back where we can kind of hold her until she feels better here Make sure she goes off. Okay. She's gone. There she goes <laughs> All these little perch and we got a nice one 12 and a half inch female perch yellow perch nice looking one. Let's get the fish and there might be another one in here Yeah, yeah All right we are on with something pretty nice again here. Yeah, there's a really nice eater perch right there. There we go, little eater. All right, yeah, if I was keeping them, this would be an eater, nine incher right here. Okay, there he goes, there he goes. There he goes, right in the rocks. All right, he's going. They're just piled up right in here and getting ready to spawn probably. Or they can't get out, one of the two. <laughs> All right, so about two to three weeks ago, we had, we were on ice. And now we're open water just like that. It got really warm, really quick. It's beginning to be, turn into spring. So, yeah, just that little area is what we're fishing. Little spillway of the Mississippi River back, back in the backwater areas. Yellow perch, like I said, you catch some small ones, you get the bigger ones after 
not a lot of big ones, but every once in a while you'll hook into one. So let's keep fishing. We're getting something. Getting, that one was really nice. Close to a personal best. It just needed over another half an inch. That was 12 and a half. We need to be 13. So I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a big one in here. All right. There's our smallest one yet. That one, a northern, could eat in one chomp. Smallest one we caught. Oh, there he is in the rocks. Chilling in the rocks. See him? Is he going to do anything? Oh, look at that. It's a crawfish. Look at that. Well, it's... It's uh, afternoon. There's a little greenish, yellowish jig head with nightcrawler. Uh, the bigger ones seem to disappeared. So, yeah. We'll keep on trying and see what happens. Yeah, like I keep saying, there's just so many small ones in here though. But it seems like if you keep fighting them for a long time, keep catching a lot of these smaller ones, you'll eventually get to a nicer one, as you've seen in the pass of the video here. Well, three casts, three fish all of a sudden here, so they might, they're probably starting to bite again here. Yeah, yeah. Well, getting bigger now. Almost eater size, for me anyway. Nine inches eater size. This one's probably eight. Yeah, yeah. It's probably getting around, getting close to uh, one o'clock now. So. I just looked at the time it is now just becoming one o'clock and here's a little f female right under eight inches probably I think look at that belly that's filled with eggs all right there she goes back all right she got stuck in the rocks there for a minute and now they're all going the back to tiny little ones again here well, I don't know how much more we're going to do of this. It's after 1 o'clock and now they're all turning into some really small ones again. And I'm getting sick of catching all kinds of small ones that the big ones were around. We caught the bigger ones in the morning there, around 10, 11. So, yeah, yeah, it is what it is. That's fish and things change even in a day. Even in a day. It's crazy how some things can change from this or that or that or this. Oh, well, there we go. First uh, weed bass. Kind of a smallish one, just like the perch. All right, let's get them on. Get it unhooked and uh, get back to fishing. So I'm gonna show you something here. You can see the this down here. The back water is pretty pretty clear. So yeah. Another, they're all getting pretty small for whatever. They're just all small again here. No giants, no big ones showing up again. It's been that way for a while now. Little little jig head with nightcrawler for some panfish. Well, today only for perch. It works real well for perch. Just throwing it on the bottom, letting it sink to the bottom and jigging it. All right, let's get this guy unhooked, put him back. So yeah, another little one. I ain't gonna be here much longer if we don't start seeing some bigger ones. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, we caught a lot, like a lot. I can't even count or even guess how many small ones we got. Well, and there's a nice male. 
he's uh doing his duty if you know what i mean all over my arm are you looking to eat all right this one's going big right there in the rock stuck in the rock what is he doing there he goes big yellow perch well that is it from the spillway to spillway is just down that way and uh the spillway had a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of small small perch and barely any big ones as you've seen this is it fish on hopefully i'll catch some big perch they're starting to spawn, or is spawning one and the two. All right, out. Uh -huh.